Hey guys, it's Cheer and I'm going to be talking about my cooking setup today. So these are the things I use on the Pacific Crest Trail and the Continental Divide Trail. and. Quite a few things have lasted the whole way. So I'm gonna go over the pieces that I use and you can see my pack. My dirty Hyperlite is right here next to me and I usually keep, if I can lift this thing up, <laughs> I usually keep all my cooking stuff in the front pocket. This is a Hyperlite wind rider and I like the mesh pockets because I can like see everything inside. But this isn't about the pack today, it's about the cooking setup. So I usually have a little propane tank, um, the smallest one that I can find usually it's about that big. I forgot how much it is, but it's usually the smaller version. I can usually get quite a few stretches out of it because I don't use a ton of it. I keep everything in a Ziploc bag just for rain protection and that sort of thing. Not that it really needs it, but um, I wouldn't keep my propane in here. I would just keep that separate, but I keep my little stove, <laughs> a little cup and a spork. So I'll take each one out to show you. I found this in a hiker box. It's a long, it's not even a spork, it's a spoon. So I found hiking on trails, I prefer just a spoon because if you have like a bag or something, like a, I don't usually do like the backcountry um, meals and that sort of thing. I do my own stuff, but when you have a big bag, it's nice to have a long spoon. Um, the spork doesn't really do much. The fork part doesn't really do much for me. And a lot of hikers agree. So I use a long handled spoon. This is um, Genius Outdoors brand. Like I said, I found it in a hiker box. I think it was in Pie Town along the CDT. So I swapped out my other, it was, yeah, my other spork with this. So that was a total score. And I think it's um, titanium, so it's very light. probably do a separate video on this because this is one of the pieces of gear that has lasted 5,500 miles, like the total amount and beyond um, of miles for all of my hikes. So even before I started through hiking, I used this for backpacking. So this thing has lasted for so long and it's just a cheap, I don't even, I'll link it down below, but um, it was just something cheap that I found on Amazon. I think it was at the time like 12 bucks. This thing keeps going. The spark um, contraption doesn't work anymore. Um, it kind of pooped out. Sorry, I'm like right by a road. I hope that doesn't, um, that isn't too annoying. <laughs> um, but the spark pooped out like a couple weeks of continuous use. So I just use a lighter um, to light it, which isn't a big deal. The lighter's like super, light and um, the lighter last has lasted forever and it's like a small one. So that's not a big issue um, to carry along to, but this has been a star piece in my um, gear repertoire. And this is one of my favorite pieces of gear ever. It's the Vargo Titanium Bot 700. And the great thing about this piece of gear is it's very light and it is compatible for cold soaking. So it's watertight. You can see the little O-ring here. It's watertight. So if I put anything with water in here, if I'm trying to cold soak something like oatmeal, etc., just put it on and nothing spills out. So there's not a lot of um, items on the market that are like watertight. So this is one of the few things that I found that's watertight and it's cooking compatible and cold, cold soak compatible. And I will link, I have a full video on just this piece of gear on my channel. So I'll link that below too, if you want more info on this, but it's just one of my favorite pieces of gear is this Vargo Bot 700. 
And lastly, this is a little ridiculous. So if you're ultra light, don't listen to what I have to say. But um, I bought this little cup at Dave's place along the CDT and I went into his shop, which is a great shop. If you are on the CDT, definitely stop there. He has everything you could need. Uh, better for southbound hikers because it's more, um, it's in the Montana area, um, more north. Um, but I saw this and I just fell in love with it. And I love having hot chocolate on trail, but not like too much of it. So it's perfect. It's like a little shot of hot chocolate. And um, it just brings me joy. It's definitely a luxury item, but it brings me joy and I carry it. So if you want to picture this, pretend like I have a little propane tank down here. So I would screw this onto the propane tank and then light, light it with my lighter. Vargo bot on top and that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much my setup. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. And this was actually a request from somebody to just see uh, my cooking kit. So this is my cooking kit. It's really simple. It was pretty cheap except for the bot actually is a little bit pricey, but it's so worth it. This is like a hundred bucks. I think I paid for it, but it's titanium lightweight and one of the few items on the market that you can cold soak and cook. So it's definitely worth it. It stood the test of time as well. Um, so works for me and I'm curious to see what you guys use as um, for your cooking kit and little tips and tricks. So if you guys have any tips and tricks for cooking kits, any improvements that I could make, cause I'm totally open to suggestions, definitely let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching today and I will see you next time. Yes. <laughs> Yeah.